Right, good afternoon, Manufacturing All-Stars, and welcome to another episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. Today, you are going to learn about an industry-first industrial safety solution. I'm joined once again by our Components Area Manager, Steve Parkhill. Steve, cheers. Cheers. Welcome Thanks to the show. Me. So, Steve, like I always do, I made a hefty promise that we've got an industrial first solution. I've got to imagine it's probably under this cover. Is that correct? It is, and you're not going to be able to guess it from the profile. I was not able to guess that is also correct. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and take this off and unveil what we're about to talk about. Sounds good. So, what you're looking at here is our brand new Lifeline 5 solid state cable pole. Uh, mm. It's a first of its kind because it's solid state, and with that, it can actually achieve the highest safety performance level uh, that you can achieve, which is performance level E, uh, category four. Wow. Uh, there's other advantages to this, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Sure, yeah, if you could you know, maybe take us and our uh, audience through maybe three advantages of it, that'd be perfect. Sure, so number one, with any safety device, your number one concern is, does it work reliably? In mm -hmm. this case, I can confidently tell you, yes, we've intentionally built a very robust design. Um, it's as easy as pulling a cable, and you can, See the status change there, a performer reset. We also have built in e-stop functionality. And um, then there's some, some nice features in here to avoid nuisance tripping, right? Yeah. So if you think about our traditional uh, cable poles or any of our competitors, what you'll find is if they're installed in an environment where the temperature fluctuates throughout the day, as the tension changes in the cable, you might actually get a nuisance trip, right? As the temperature heats up, cable slacks, temperature gets cold, doesn't. This device, rather than monitoring the actual tension value in the cable, mm -hmm. we'll look at the rate of change of tension. And so you can avoid okay. those nuisance yeah, yeah, yeah. traps. Mm -hmm. The other thing that might happen is, say we're standing next to a machine having a conversation mm -hmm. and you inadvertently lean up against the cable. Let's, let's see this. You're not going to trip the unit. And, and this is what I was getting excited about too, because this is something that I hear all the time out in the field is that type of situation where you just bump into it and it shuts down the machine. Right. So you can, you can avoid that. The other reason it's really robust is this particular unit here is made of a die cast aluminum uh, and it carries an IP66 rating. So it can go into fairly harsh environments. We also make a version in stainless steel that's IP69K. So you can pressure wash the thing and you don't have to worry about it. It uh, can withstand temperature ranges from uh, below zero degrees to above 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So the thing is, is built like a tank and I, I think that shows. Absolutely. The, the second thing I wanted to point out is that it's very easy to see in the event of a trip or fall. So mm -hmm. right now you can tell the device is powered because you see the green LEDs. Yeah. If I pull the cable, they turn red. You can see that from a mile away. There's no guessing whether, was it this device that got pressed or was it that device? It's yeah, that, I, very I hear obvious. about that a lot too, just right. trying to figure out which part of the machine tripped and having to spend the time trying to identify that. Exactly. Um, so, so you, you, it's easy to, to see. And then finally, um, if you want to get started today, uh, I'll tell you this, it's easier than ever to set this thing up. And yeah. I'll actually demonstrate that. Well, I was going to say, because if, uh, you know, if I look at one of these older ones, you know, this has typically been a two-man job to set up. Is that correct? Correct. So um, with any of our competitor products or, or our older products, when it comes to setting the tension value, you're actually trying to look at this tiny little window not that you guys can see it, but imagine I'm right being here and I can't even really <laughs> see it that well. So imagine being 50 yards away yeah. at the tensioner and then having to walk back and forth to look at the little window to tell, am I in the right tension range? Mm -hmm. With this, we make it extremely simple. You'll see as I just loosen the tension, uh, we have this tension LED right here. It's flashing at a slow rate, telling me uh, I'm not quite at tension yet. As I tighten the cable, uh, with a simple Allen key, by the way, um, mm -hmm. What you'll see is that LED will start to flash quicker yep. and quicker mm -hmm. and quicker until finally. I think you guys can see that. I think you should be able yeah. to see that. Yeah, perfect. Until finally, it'll actually just go out. Now I know I'm at the correct tension value. I reset the unit and I'm ready to go. Awesome. So, again, very reliable, easy to see in the event of a trip, and simple to set up. That's great, and Steve, thank you for taking us through this demo today. It's been a while since we've had you on the show, so it's good to have you back. It's good to be back. Um, as a call to action to you guys, if you like what you see, first and foremost, I'd recommend giving us a call. We're happy to show you a demonstration of this. Also, we'll have links to get more information uh, right below this on YouTube, as always. In the meantime, Steve, thanks again for coming back to the show. Thank you. Cheers. And for the rest of you folks out there, stay innovative, stay thirsty, and we'll see you guys again next time.